stand by all stations. Attention, all districts. A five alarm fire. Five bells. Move in immediately. That's it. Let's roll. Let's go. Firefighters. <laughs> Presenting Firefighters, the true-to-life story of our unsung heroes who stand ready to ride by day or night against our most murderous enemy, the demon of fire. In just a minute, we'll take you to the scene at the waterfront where Tim Collins, rookie fireman, and the officer of Engine Company 209 are hastening along the dock. Their eyes are fixed on the point where smoke puffs out from the oil-soaked planking. But before they can reach that spot, here's a message you'll want to hear. Let's go, firefighters. Let's go to the home of Tim Collins, where you remember Chief Bob... Let's go, firefighters. Let's go to the waterfront where a wooden dock as long as a city block juts out from shore and a cloud of smoke shows that fire somewhere below is eating through the oil-soaked timber. Just a moment ago, as you remember, Lieutenant Greenspan ordered Tim Collins, rookie fireman. All right, Collins, you'll serve as pipe man. Break out that cellar pipe. Yes, sir. Okanada, you with a pry bar. Coming up. I want you to rip up those planks for the cellar pipe. Right away, sir. Ready with the cellar pipe, Lieutenant. You know how to handle it? Attach it to the hose line in place of a regular nozzle. Drop it down through a hole in the dock and let her go. That's right. Chances are we can't get her that far head on. But the cellar pipe will shoot water anywhere under the dock, up or down, right or left. Now they've got the hose lined out, sir. All right, then shoulder that pipe and let's go. Hey, Lieutenant, there's trouble here. Yeah, there'll be trouble if I don't get that hole I ordered. I can't find a hot spot. What do you mean, hot spot? There's the smoke. Get busy with the bar. Get me down to that fire. Yes, sir, but where's the fire? Where do I pry up the plank? He's right, sir. What? Feel the planking. Hmm. Yeah, the way that smoke pours out, we could be standing on a volcano, but these planks are cool. There's no heat underneath. So like I say, where's the fire? Well, with this construction, it could be anywhere. And it could smolder for hours before the smoke showed. Yeah, yeah, well, let's see now. The way they build these docks, first they sink the big piles, then they lay a rough floor on top. And above that floor, they build this service that we're standing on now. With space enough between sometimes for a man to stand upright. Or for smoke to travel the whole length of the dock before it breaks out. All right, let's get to work. Well, shall I hook up the cellar pipe, Lieutenant? No, stand by till we know what we're doing, Collins. You, Private, rip out one of those planks. Here, sir? No, where the smoke is coming out. I want to get a line on the air currents under this flooring. I get it. Yes. Watch yourself now. Look out for spikes. They pop out like bullets. All right, all right. That's good enough. <coughs> that vent is smoke, all right. Uh, it's thinning out, sir. Yeah, thinning out. <coughs> that means it was building up for a long time before it showed. And it's moving toward us from offshore. And that fire is out beyond toward the end of the dock. There's company coming, Lieutenant. Huh? That's the chief's car. He's driving out here along the dock. Well, I won't say I'm not glad to see him. This is a tough nut to crack. All right, you men, patrol out to the end of the dock. Yes, Find that hot spot if there is any. Or any trace of smoke anywhere. If you get a line on that fire, raise a yell. I'll wait here and report to the chief. What's the situation, Lieutenant? Well, it's a puzzle, Chief Corley. Fire under this dock, but we haven't found it yet. You want more men? What? Aren't you taking charge, sir? Why should I? You're the first officer on the scene. By rights, you take command. Unless there's a special reason for me to take over. I uh, came out to tell you the towboat company is raising the roof. Sir? Because this is the dock they use. <laughs> Four of their tugs are due to tie up here in another hour. What shall I tell them? Oh, tell them to keep out of my way. I got a fire to fight, if I can find it. And uh, since you're not taking charge, Chief Cody... Any orders you want me to carry? Yeah, one for you, Chief. Get this car off the dock and keep it off. What's that? Well, if the piers below us are being eaten away, your car might take a sudden dive when the dock gives way. No apparatus allowed out here, Chief, not even yours. Yes, sir, Lieutenant. And send me truckmen with axes and hooks. Enough men to rip off the whole top surface of this dock if they have to. Hook and lighter man, right, Lieutenant? And I want a light. I'm going under that dock myself. Oh, here's my hand lamp. I always carry it in the car. All right, sir, I'll get it back to you. That's all, is it? Well, unless, uh, uh, any suggestions, Chief <laughs> None at all. It's your fire, Lieutenant. 
You find it and put it out. <laughs> hey, Lieutenant. Yeah, what's that? Look, there's a ladder nailed to the end of the dock. I'm going down. Maybe I can see under the dock. Watch your footing, Hooksy. You slip off that, you'll take a swim with your boots on. Private, you get back to where we ventilated that smoke. Tell them to pry up a line of flanking. I get it. We follow the current of smoke out this way. Follow that smoke to the source and all turn to it once. We're losing time. Hey, Lieutenant. Yeah, what do you see? There's a boat down here. A boat? All right, hang on to it, Collins. You and me are going for a ride. All right. Easy when you step off the ladder, Lieutenant. Try to hit the boat dead center or she'll tip. All right, take the axe, Collins, will you? Yes, sir. Chief Cody's lamp. I got him. Oh, this is a break. Boat tied to the ladder. She drifted under the dock, but... Here I come. steady. Yeah. Well, now, uh, I'm no sailor, Collins. You, uh, you know how to row one of these things? Well, if we're going under there, we won't be able to row. But I can push her like this. With the oar against the piers. Hey. Black as a pit. I'll give you some light. Yeah. That's better, sir. You, uh... Smell anything? Hmm? Yeah. Oil. Oil on the water. No smoke? No, sir. No, no smoke. All right, keep pushing her along. Hey, it's dark in here. Beyond reach of daylight now. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, up there, sir. Huh? Fire. Fire? You see a glow? No, sir, no. I I thought I saw something move up there in that stringer. <laughs> now, don't start seeing things, Collins. All we want to see is that fire. Oh, wait a minute, sir. Now, there they are. Huh? Where? The boys up on top, up on the dock with the axes. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. I hear them. Hey, you smell anything? Well, maybe. Oh, maybe I just think I do. No, no, that's smoke, Collins. It's paint, but we're going oh, in the... Wait a minute. Up there, sir, over your head. Where? Which way? Up there. Something did move. Get busy with that oar. No, no, sir, the light. Shine your light up on that stringer. There's something. Well, oh, you're right, there's something. Rats. Rats? Yeah. Look. See those shadows? Oh, yes, sir. Rats. Running away, sir. Yeah, they're all running the same way. You know what that means, Collins? What, sir? They're running away from the fire. So it must be dead ahead. Oh, hold tight. No, no. Move, move to your left. Shove it to the left, Collins. Left, sir? Well, that, that'll take us out from under the dock. That's right. That's where you're heading now. There's daylight ahead of us. Ahead, sir? There, through the gap between the piles. Don't you see that light on the water? Oh, well, that isn't daylight, sir. That's the glow from the fire. What? Well, you're right, Collins. That's the fire, all right. Pass me that other roar. Yes, sir. There's our fire, and it's eating the heart out of this dock. Uh, the men with the axes, sir, they're almost overhead. I wonder if... All right, boys, hold on. Slide that pry bar under here. Rip out that plank. There's the source of the fire, Chief Cody. <laughs> Here's where the smoke comes from. Can you see the flame? No flame, but plenty of smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Boiling up from beneath that false flooring below the dock surface. You with the hose. Yes, get that line up here. No room for a man to get down in there, Chief. No, but <coughs> I've already got two men down there. <coughs> down there somewhere. And I can't cut loose with the hose until I find them. That stream from the hose... Chief Cody, right... somebody <laughs> yelling for you. Look, they're pointing down at the water. Great blistering blazes. Speak up there. What have you found? Well, it looks as if Tim Collins, rookie fireman, in the eerie darkness below the dock, has discovered the source of the fire. At the same time, the Chief Cody's men, wielding axes and hooks, have reached the same spot from up above. But that call from the edge of the dock where the hook and ladder men cluster, pointing down at the water, brings a startled call for information from the chief. For the answer to Chief Cody's question and his plan of attack against the fire that is eating into the foundations of the dock, listen to our next True to Life episode of The Fire Fighters. In just a moment, Chief Bob Cody will tell you, boys and girls, 
how you can help the firefighters in your own hometown. But first, here's a message you don't want to miss. And now Chief Bob Cody with a special assignment for the Firefighters Brigade. Chief Cody. Boys and girls, this is your friend Chief Cody with a special assignment for the Firefighters Brigade. Firefighters, attention. You are to inspect the kitchens in your homes for a particular type of fire hazard. Notice the position of the kitchen stove in relation to the windows and in relation to racks or other devices for drying dish towels, clothing and other combustible materials. Now, be sure to notice, do curtains ever sway in the breeze so that they might possibly reach the burners of the stove? Is it possible, by any chance whatsoever, that some article of cloth might fall from a drying rack upon the surface of the stove? Now, if so, your kitchen is a danger spot, and you know what to do about it. That is all. Goodbye for now. Fire Chief Cody and the young rookie fireman Tim Collins will be back when you hear... That's it. Let's roll! Let's go! Firefighters! Firefighters is a copyrighted feature of William F. Holland Productions.